The dive team is hoping to find a tavern where Morgan himself might have had a drink. We're on a surface, we're on a surface. I'm gonna just do a bit of a circle and see if I can't find anything. Over. Thanks for that. Have a good one. Over. The sediment in here is pretty, pretty dense. Let's see, where are we? <laughs> where we are, I'm still going to say quite sure. I hate to be over optimistic, but I do feel good about this one. There, we're just breaking out of the mud now. We can actually see something again. I'm going to uh, do a bit of a search pattern. I know we're close. The number of bricks and construction stones that I'm finding suggest that I'm very nearly in the vicinity. Well, he seems to have found something. <laughs> oh, man. This is so insane. <laughs> This is really a spectacular, spectacular view. Finally, a lost world reveals itself. You can see how destructive the earthquake was in this part of the building. And all the jumble of walls that had collapsed and fallen over. And this wall also has something of a wavy appearance, probably a result not only of the earthquake, but of the force of the water that's striking this structure. It's really a, a thrill to be right in this location once again. It's kind of a dream, really. <laughs> This building would have been about two stories high. Most of that brick would have fallen in and on top of everything within the room. A small version of buildings you would have seen in London at the time. In fact, all of Port Royal would have looked like a miniature scale London. I'm pleased to see all these bricks still in order. Despite the earthquake, they didn't lose their integrity. They stayed in a really nice tight bond. It's really exciting to see this. <laughs>